It's Diamond Bob, your host of the Back Alley Blues Review. I'm here today with one of my favorite blues artists, Laura Price of the Laura Price Band. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Um, I think we have a few questions here for you, if you don't mind, and we can ask you those and see what we got. Pleasure to be here. Okay. I know that um, I read some things in the newspaper about your voice and your style. It's sensual. You have a strong voice. And I've seen you perform a number of times. I've seen you since 2005. Wow, and thank you. I have to agree <laughs> with what they say in the newspaper about you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I have a quest couple questions here I'd like to ask you. Okay. Well, one of those questions is, what convinced you to do blues music? Because I, blues music, because I know playing the blues, it's got to be in your soul. People can sing it, mm -hmm. but some people can't bring it. And you oh, bring it. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you know, blues music found me. I actually came to California to sing in a band, and I wanted to do rock and roll. And even though they are very closely related, I ended up, you know, singing at JJ's Blues first. And then I ran my own blues jam. And, you know, over time, over, uh, this was back in 98, that's when I started. Good. It grew on me, and um, it's, it's given me... My, my career legs. and get into different places? Both. Both. <laughs> Both. In fact, I try not to think about that aspect of it. I think that if you really want to do something that's your dream, then you don't take no for an answer, and you just keep going, one foot in front of the other, and you do whatever it takes to get that gig. Yeah, well, yeah. I think the thing is they say, I know when I started, you have to pay your dues, yeah. but my feelings are, if you're good enough, you don't have to pay your dues. <laughs> you can move to the front of the line a little bit. I, you know what? I've worked for everything that I that I have, you know, and I, I continue to work for it every day. And so, you know, I'm glad you think I'm getting better because I feel like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm starting. I'm on a journey to, to be the best I can, and it's going to be lifelong. Well, I think you're on your way.
ask me this question, you know, like just right now, the first name that comes to mind is Donny Hathaway. He's mm -hmm. one of my favorite singers. But you know, I grew up with 80s rock in Idaho where there was not really a lot of culture. And my parents, they didn't listen to any real classics. They might not like that I just said that right now. But, <laughs> you know, it was like, I think they listened to some John Denver, Linda Ronstadt, love her. You know, but I don't recall, you know, um, like the stuff that I listen to now that I feel like that's what made music. I didn't grow up with any of that stuff. Mm. So I'm kind of feel like I'm finding that stuff out late in life. And, and, you know, I think I'm at a good place where I can really take it in and appreciate how great it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that night and people are dancing and having a good time so what would you like to say to your fans out there it's global now it's global wow thank you well I want to say thank you to all the fans for coming out that night Sacramento Blues Society came out strong and you know if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have gone to Memphis so um, and I want to thank you as a big fan thank you very much for giving me the support you're welcome and we'll see you at the next gig okay um, okay everybody well I want to thank Laura Price for taking the time to come here to Nanotech Entertainment and the Back Alley Blues Review Show with your host, Diamond Bob. We'll see you at the next show, and we'll see Laura in the future. Thanks a lot. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>